Billy Eichner and Seth Rogen are hilariously opening up about being in a movie with Beyonce. The comedic duo will voice the roles of Time and, and Puma in Disney's highly anticipated live-action The Lion King remake, set to hit theaters later this month. In addition to Beyonce, Eichner and Rogen, the star-studded cast also includes Donald Glover, Keegan-Michael Key and Chytel Ejiofor. While Eichner and Rogen are known for their acting and comedy, they'll also be showcasing their singing abilities in The Lion King. So, what's it like being on songs alongside iconic artists such as Queen Bey and Glover, aka Childish Gambino? It's about time. This is the culmination for them of so many years of hard work trying to get to our level, Aikna jokes in a new joint interview with Rojan for Variety. It's really gratifying that we've been able to give them this opportunity. Bay will voice the role of Nala in the upcoming film, directed by John Favreau, while Glover will be the voice of Simba. Yeah, I feel good for them. They deserve this break, Rojan jokingly adds. I can't imagine how thrilling it must be for them. Aikner and Rojan's vocal talents will be heard on beloved songs such as Can You Feel the Love Tonight? And Hakana Matata, so what was it like working on those classic tracks? It's fun because you grow up with them, Rojan tells Variety. There was a certain exercise in my head of not being too familiar with the original version. Your first instinct is, I'll go listen to the original version and remind myself of what it was like. The instinct that served me better was to not do that specifically and really trust that John would guide me to do all the things that he thought were necessary in order to make the song hit. The songs were probably one of the more intimidating parts to record in terms of having to walk this fine line of nodding to the original and certain elements of the original performances that people just love and would be disappointed not to hear again, but also finding ways to make it our own, Aikner adds. Especially Hakuna Matata, that song is ingrained in people's heads. Once you get past the first few takes, you start to fall into your own rhythm. Eventually the anxiety wears off, but that's a big one to take on.